up until now, we've been using this kind of black screen background to create our objects and drawings in model space to make it in full size. What we want to do now is change it so when we are ready to print, we can arrange our design on a two-dimensional sheet of paper so the plotted hard copy is exactly where we want it. This two-dimensional paper is known as paper space in AutoCAD, and we can place borders and title blocks on the paper space that are helpful for our design. First thing we have to do is come down to this bottom right corner, and we're going to click on Layouts. We'll right-click on Layout 1 and go into the Page Setup Manager. It will bring up a dialog box for the Page Setup Manager and we want to modify the default Layout 1. Make sure that the printer is set for Room 301 that in properties, and I hope you have all done this before, but let's go to custom properties and make sure that for job handling you have user number checked and your number is 21007. After you've made the changes, it prompts you to save it so you will always have those changes into your own system file. So for mine it's sthorn24 at this particular location. Make sure the paper size is set to letter and click OK. Go ahead and close out the layout and we're going to start by deleting this gray box that goes around the screen. So highlight it and select delete. We're going to switch from our construction layer to our title block layer and select the rectangle tool from the draw toolbar. We want to pick a location on the inside near the lower left corner of the dashed rectangle. And in the command prompt area, use relative coordinate entry method to create a 10.25 by 7.75 rectangle. So here it's prompting us to select another corner or point. We're going to use the relatives. I'm typing in at 10.25 comma 7.75. Click the model tab to switch back to model space. Notice the title block we created is shown only in the paper space. It's not here in our model space area. On your own, select the layer control box and set the construction layer lines as the current layer. We're going to switch on the following options in the status toolbar. Snap grid, object snap, snap tracking, and our line weight display. 